Hi, in conclusion of our pimping or design uh, project here, combustion. So complete desktop team in combustion. I started first in open box, then I3. Then I started with this little part up here. And now I'm gonna finish the article and the tutorial. And we're gonna talk about the rest of I3. Well, I must point you to the same uh, website we all have to go to and that's i3wm.org so if you don't know anything and you're you're lo looking for something this is a great place to be this is the bible okay i3 improved tiling window manager docs user guide and then what did i do i went to my system to i3 configuration i opened it it's down here, it's now red because of my settings. Did you see the red border as well? As a sign that it was urgent. And uh, well, we were stuck after years of working on other systems. I thought, what was it again? So you just go and read and after five, five or 10 minutes, you remember again, what is this all about? So this is the question. What is this all about? All right. Um, so, client placeholder, it says. Fine, client placeholder, that's what you do. Control, find, client, dot, place, and voila. And then you start reading, reading, reading. What does it do? Ah, it, you can change all colors which i3 uses to draw the window decoration. So this thing here, it's what it calls, it calls a windows decoration. And when I unfocus, when it's to the right screen, this is really bright yellow and this is lighter. Unfocused is lighter than focused. So we've done all that in here. But let me check first, why do we, don't, why do we not have any colors at this point in time? If we change from here to here, we have here colors and we don't have any colors here anywhere. Why? Let's close everything up. Ask it again. Okay. Fine, the colors are there again. So things can happen. There we are. So what I've done now in the meantime is figuring out again what was all these settings. And what have I what have what have I done? So client focused is what you see up here. That's focused. And I told him, look, if you're gonna be focused, then I want the background to be this color and the text this color and so on. And when it's unfocused, like so, it's gonna be a lighter orange, as you can see. It's a little bit difference. So the unfocused and the focused inactive are for me the same. And then the urgent one, as you quickly saw there, was all red and so on. So these columns are the most important ones. I didn't figure out what this is, the border. I only need these colors. Um, to be able to show you, I can press super T and you see here a bar coming up. So if you like, you can have this bar up there and that's so the colors in there are defined in here. So when it's focused or when it's not focused, it changes as well, as you can see from the left to the right. So, but, well, basically these things are not used, these uh, titles up here. And um, the last thing I want you to know is to go to, to tell the system, let's get rid of that. Let's open something up. Um, okay, it's opened up there, so I'm gonna move it there. It's making this thing here smaller. Um, and that's in the border. So opening up the config file again and see in the meantime the red again. Watch quickly, a red line and then it's gone. And now, now let's fix this border. It's near the coloring actually. So these are the coloring aspects. You can have fun with these as well. I'll see what, uh, how it looks like and, and what I can switch and change in the future. I'll copy paste this on the website and you can just get it from there anyway so the gaps are maybe the gaps are maybe too big as well but the border pixel might be now a little bit too bright so 
I'm going to try three pixels. So now this line is a little bit thinner, a little bit more to my liking. I'm going to try two and it's even softer in the eyes. So it's all up to you. How many pixels do you want around these uh, uh, elements? It's up to you how many, um, how many space it takes up. And then next up, I think is maybe the caps. If you say 10 is a bit too much, Eric, okay, change it. So now we have here minor spaces between it. Doesn't matter with when, when you have a terminal open or you move about, you do see the, the wonderful wallpaper behind it. So that's no problem, I guess. And there is still one other thing I, you can change and that's the outer uh, gaps. Um, and you can also try out the smart gaps on as well. So save. If we do remember that we when we have three things open, you have these gaps. And when we delete it, look, no gaps. So the smart gaps is saying, oh, there's just one thing open. So whatever, I'm not going to make any gap. When something comes uh, on the same screen, it's going to tile it and I'm going to show gaps. So that's what this smart gaps is for. I really don't like it, so I hashtag it out. And the smart borders on, I don't know what that was again, but you have to find that here, the air blade, i3 gaps on, or just test it out. Let's quickly see if I can remember where it is. Smart borders on. So we have here no borders. And when we press, then we have a border. So smart borders is showing only the borders when you have two elements open. So this is like so. And when we move it to here, we have no borders anymore. But when a second thing comes along, then we have borders. Don't care for it as, uh, as well. So I uh, just had these things hashtagged out. And that's the way I want it. So I think I'm going to keep this kind of look. I uh, feel comfortable with it. I like it. It's uh, So we have to delete this one and run it again. Aha, uh -huh, he has no border here. Why that? Did I not save it? Caps outer. Okay, everything looks okay. Smart caps on. Save and reload. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Had to reload probably. So now everything has a border again. This is the way how I like it. And you can you can make it bigger smaller you can do it like so with the mouse it's the most easiest thing i think you can do don't make it too ugly but i most of the time i say okay i trust you guy and it's 50 50 and i work like this okay like i said i'll uh, copy paste this code to not these codes that's um you'll have to figure that out but i'm gonna copy paste these codes the color codes what i what you see now on the website. Enjoy!